I'm Jessica Langley. I'm Ben Kinsley. And together we curate The Yard. Uh, we're both independent artists that moved to Colorado Springs four years ago. And ever since then, we have been um, uh, curating site-specific installations in our front yard. Our front yard is uh, in the Divine Redeemer neighborhood of Colorado Springs, which is a 1950s uh, suburban neighborhood. So it's a very different place to experience art than a museum or galleries. We've had a number of installations, uh, I think about 10 in total, with artists from as far away as Prague and Finland to New York and as close as Denver. Um, some of our projects have ranged from like a, a threshold in the form of a profile of a face, a charred smokehouse structure that emitted smoke, a hail cozy that was made out of uh, afghans that covered our truck during hail season, a project with an inflatable and these coverings of our windows with an outdoor projection, life cast sculptures that spelled the word routine, a tumbleweed corral, and we had recently during COVID a project called Notes for Tomorrow that was a participatory mail art project where people from this community and, a, and afar sent us messages of hope for the future via postcard and then we um, we programmed all of those messages on an LED, scrolling LED panel um, and projected that back out to the neighborhood. Hi, my name is Annette Isham. I am a visual artist currently working in performance and animation, and I am creating a series of videos for the 3x3 projects. A lot of my work has to do with geography, landscape, race, and gender. Um, and for the last few years, I've been working on a Venus series about a mythical being who can travel through time and space. For this particular project at the yard um, in Colorado Springs, Divine Redeemer will become the neighborhood and the place where she travels. For this piece, I am using drone footage of the neighborhood um, of the yard, and I will go back and animate this footage to create the videos. Hi, my name is David Chapman Lindsay. I'm an artist and the founder of PopWalk, which is a smartphone application for viewing site-specific art anywhere. So PopWalk was developed about eight years ago as a smartphone application, a, a way for me and other artists to show off the animations and videos and performances that we were making that were meant to be seen in specific locations. All you have to do is download the free app uh, for iPhone and Google, and um, you have to create a login. But after that, you can see where all of the locations of the videos are. Now they're locked until you get to the location that the, that the artist determines you need to be at to see the works because the location is tied to the artwork and they're meant to be seen together. And so you follow the app, the, there's a map on the application and you follow it until you arrive at that location and then it unlocks and you can see it. So starting August 1st, you can come to the yard. Uh, we will share our uh, coordinates for our location. Visit the yard in person, bring your smartphone, download this, the PopWalk app, and then navigate to the locations of Annette's videos to experience these works on site.